Welcome to our quick demo of the People Tool, a flexible view-based IDE for engineering software product lines. Wouldn't it be nice to enable developers to smoothly switch between different complementary product line implementation techniques and languages? This is exactly what we support with our tool People. For this demo, we prepared a simple stack product line illustrating People's most important features. Most developers know the C preprocessor. So we conceived the representation in people showing variation in the code as ifdef directives. Using ifdefs, we simply select features or a combination of features using propositional logic. If ifdefs clutter the code too much, we simply switch to visual annotations. The learning curve is low since ifdef directives and visual annotations can be explored for the very same feature artifact, here the class stack in parallel. Now imagine we want to evolve the variant that contains the features stack and array or fix a bug that occurs when both features are enabled. So what we do is we simply switch to a version of the code showing a variant. And to clutter the code less focusing on the program logic, we can even hide the visual annotations. If we want to observe which code belongs to which feature, we simply switch back. We can also switch to a modular version of the code. For example, we can open the code belonging to the array feature if we just want to evolve or fix a bug in it without being distracted by irrelevant code of other features. And editing is also straightforward, of course. In fact, we can edit using any view or other views are automatically refreshed. So we can switch pretty fast. We can even type and move the original keyword, which calls the original function in classical modular approaches. Here is another quick example showing the strengths of people. Classical modular approaches do not support fine-grained changes on statement level. For demonstration purposes, we show this error message here. In people, however, we can also integrate external features in a modular view by showing markers of the surrounding code. Such blended representations also allow developers to get context information. In fact, we can integrate the content of other features within modules. We can even integrate external field declarations and methods, which enables the developer to explore what is accessible from within the current feature. Thanks for watching.